Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. Today I'm taking part in a special collab with some special creators. We'll get to that more information about that in a minute. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I hope you think about hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you but it helps my channel grow, as well as hit that um, notification bell, click all, give me a big old thumbs up, and leave me a comment if you'd like. I love to read them. So let's get right into this um, project. So this is the High End for Cheap collaboration, and so we were tasked to go online or stores and find a high-end project that we wanted to recreate excuse me so i took this wood round now this wood round i buy them in a package of 12 from amazon for 11.99 so it's one dollar each for each one because you get 12 of them so um i'm just taking my persian gray from um i think this is folk art or it could be Waverly, but it's plaid, and I'm a plaid ambassador. So, wanted to make sure you knew that. I color this all in this gray. Now, I only do one coat because I didn't want to go any deeper on that coat because I'm going to be covering. I just wanted like a back color. Now, I'm taking uh, like a stipple brush, dry dry paint a brush or whatever and I'm using white adder on deck from folk art and I am just dry dry brushing this on and I go, keep going over it and over it and over it until I get my desired look what I'm going for is weathered old wood look like beachy what you would find at the beach um, where the paints peeling and stuff so that's kind of what the look I'm going for is is and so I just keep going over and over and over again until I get it to where I want it now I'm making my um, stripes for the wood planks now I could have gone out to my garage and I could have cut the pieces and made it but I had a tooth pulled this week and so I'm yeah I was not in good, I was not in uh, the right uh, frame of mind to go do it. So here I am taking some different folk art paints and Waverly paints, and these are just different um, uh, colors. Like I tapped some greens and I got some blues, and I'm just doing different layers of this um, on, just in that center part, that center plank. And I just keep going over it until it looks like water. So I want it to look like the ocean. And so I'm going ahead and going over it. Like I do a light, I do a dark, I go back to a light. Um, I decided I wanted a little bit of darker blue in there. And I'm not cleaning my brush. I'm just using it right in the same spot as, um, you know, on my... Um, paper towel and now I'm going into that lighter again that's going to pick up and look like uh, where some waves are now I'm this is a nutmeg brown from folk art and I am just kind of dirtying or weathering the planks to make them look like that it is actually planks so then once this is done, then we're going to move on to the next. But first, before we get to the next section, let's go to some more information about what we're, um, what this collab is all about. Okay, so this the host is Deco Easy, and that's um, Johnny and Diane, and their co their other host is Kiki, and. The whole there's four of us that have been invited, and it's um, Shawnee from Glitzy Stitches, Amanda from Six Kids and the Glue Gun, Dave from David Owen Creates, and then myself. So we were tasked, like I said earlier, to find something. Now this is what I found. It is a coastal 
weathered uh, clock with some birds on it and the ocean. And this is my creation. And it was $82.99. And I spent a dollar plus a little bit of supplies. Okay, now I took some uh, nutmeg in um, apple barrel paint. And I'm just going to paint the birds on it. And it's going to just be the brown and white and a little bit of black. So I'm just going to paint these little birds. And now you can see that a bird is actually appearing. Of course, this isn't like complete details. This is like a faded look. So I'm just getting this one in and then I'm going to put two more in and then finish on the, uh, the sand area where they are at so that I can um, get this all looking a, the most I can like the original it's not exact i never go for exact but i was definitely inspired my bathroom is blues and greens and it's going to be very coastal and birdhouse and i know that kind of sounds funny but there's birds on the ocean and so I definitely want that and i was a surfer and there was birdhouses on the ocean on the beach so yeah lots of lots of birds so i am just working on this so that I can get these this the birds all done So don't forget to go down to the description box. Down there is going to be our host channel links as well as the playlist. And I will also put a list of all of the colors of paints that I used on this. So that you um, kind of have an idea of what colors that I ended up using for the uh, ocean as well as the background of this and as you can see I'm kind of making now like a little hill and putting some grassy it's not really grass it's like wood not woods it's like weeds and little bits of grasses and stuff so I'm just getting that all on there as you can see and then I am going to um, put this is I'm putting green on so I put brown first now I'm putting green because some of them is dead, some of them is alive. 
so you wanted to make it you know look more realistic that way so I'm just going in and putting that all on there so that it looks I mean the, the beach yes it's sand but the further you get away from the water there's actually plants that grow in the sand so here I am adding a little bit more brown into uh, this to really rough it up and make it look like old wood. And I just wanted to really let you, I wanted it to be really rustic looking. Okay, I used my Cricut and I cut out this clock. Now, the other was an actual clock. I didn't want a clock because this is going to be in my bathroom. There's no reason to have a working clock in there so I just made a, a cricket vinyl and I'm gonna hook it on here now I'm cutting a piece of pill and stick on this this is what I use as my transfer tape so it's not super super sticky but I do end up putting it like on some material and defuzzing it a little bit anyway so that it doesn't stick too much now I start to put it down and then I realize oh I didn't defuss it so I pull it back up luckily it didn't pull any of the numbers off of um, the the clock so here I am I'm just getting that peel and stick and then I realized oh pulled it back off I defuzzed it and then I put it back on there and these came off fairly easily um, with the transfer tape and then it went down on the wood the wood round really well so yeah it just came right up and then I grabbed that wood and then I just center it and then I put it down I use the burnishing tool and I rub it down there and it pretty much comes off fairly easy without a lot of pulling up there's always some and I just worked at it to make sure that I got it all off of there okay I once the vinyl was all down I covered this with matte Mod Podge just to seal it because it is going to be in my bathroom I didn't want the moisture bringing up any of the vinyl or anything like that so I went ahead and put that on there then I used my heat gun to dry it all up and then I grabbed a small piece of jute with a little piece of felt and I glued that onto the back and then I glue, put glue over it and use that felt over the top and then this project is completely finished I hope you guys liked that I spent a dollar I would have spent $82.99 if I had got the actual clock so here is the final reveal I hope you guys love this project I think it's absolutely beautiful now you guys all have a most blessed week don't forget to call somebody today tell them you love them it might be exactly what they need to hear also you guys don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye.